hello friends welcome back to the ctx cloud and this is the video number 20 in our training series today we are going to see how we can create a multiple vms using the template so for that let me go inside my v, uh, pvs server and here you guys can see this is the pvs console for that to create the machines i need to select uh, on this on this emia this is a site and here you guys need to click on streamed vm setup wizard so i'm going to click here after that there is some instructions from the setup so you guys need to read out and then click on next here you guys need to mention what are the host you are using to create these machines so is it a Citrix hypervisor if you are using Zen server then you you guys need to select this if you guys are using Hyper-V and uh, SSM then you guys need to select this or if you are using VMware so you guys need to select this so as of now you guys can see that I am using the VMware hypervisor so I am going to select this I am going to copy this uh, vCenter address here and I am going to copy this into the hypervisor so here you guys need to give the administrator account and uh, password where you have the full admin rights to control this uh, vmware hypervisor so i'm going to select this ctx cloud slash administrator and i'm giving the password for that and you guys need to give the name if it's it is optional if you want to give this that's fine otherwise you guys don't need this so click on next so it's connecting to the hypervisor so you guys can see that this is um, now pvs server connected this hypervisor so after that it is asking uh, on which data center you want to which cluster you, are, you want to use so i'm by default i'm going to use this data center now i'm going to click on next i'm using this cluster for that here it is checking what are whatever the templates available in this cluster so it will check overall uh, cluster so you guys can see that the template which we have created earlier so it is showing here ctx mst pvs svr so i'm going to select this and click on next here it's automatically detected the yes there is a vdisk assigned to this template so i'm going to select this click on next here it is asking uh, where you want to put this virtual machine so i'm going to i'm using by default collection and in my next video i will create a new collection uh, here so i'm using the default one click on next now this is asking how many more virtual machines you want to create from using this template so i'm going to say that i'm going to want to create four virtual machines and it is asking how many vcpus you want to give this machine so i'm going to give that two vcpus every machine will get okay now you guys need to click on next it, now it is asking uh, you want to create a new ad account active directory account for these vms yeah obviously we need that click on next now it is asking from where, where you want to put these virtual machines so i'm going to expand the ou uh, in the active directory click on citrix in the vda and here uh, i have already created a ou this is server vda pvs and now you guys need to give the machine names so i am giving that ctx pvs prd svr and now hash hash it will take automatically 0102 and 03 so i need to click on next and it will start creating the machines so you guys can see that uh, the process has been started let me show in my uh, v center what is happening inside v center so let me log in here let me refresh this <clears throat> so it will communicate with this v center and then it will clone the machines so we are going to wait for another one or two minutes so that the process will start and we can see what is happening so you guys can see that my four virtual machines has been created here and let me go inside my pvs and you guys can see that the status is completed and all four devices has been created and there is no failure into this so i'm going to click on done now i'm going to check in my device collection and click on connections collections and here you guys can see that all four machines are available here now 
I am going to power on these virtual machines so that I can check these that is there any uh, green tick mark before these devices and they are communicating with the hypervisor or not so let me power on these virtual machines I am going to power on this one by one so click on power on and let me check if it's working properly or not and you guys can see that the machine has been booted and it is using the V disk. So later on, I will show inside by PVS that they are green and they are working fine. So again, I'm going to click on the next PVS machine, the third one and the fourth one. So guys, it will take like one or two minutes to complete their uh, booting process and they are all are booting from one single v disk so i'll show you in one or two minutes once the booting process is completed so you guys can see that my all four vms has been booted successfully and you guys can see the status is very green and now let me check the, my v disk and let me refresh this so it will take uh, one or two minutes and now you guys can see that the active connection on this VDisk is 4. Let me go into my server and let me refresh the status of the servers. And you guys can see that all my VDisk uh, 4 VMs has been booted from the primary PVS server. So issue is that why they booted from primary PVS server because we do not have the VDisk on our secondary PVS server. So there is two ways to copy the VDisk from primary to secondary first one is manual way you guys can simply browse uh, the secondary pvs server let me show you ctx pvs svr01 and just press enter and P the pvs store we have already created on secondary so just you can see that <coughs> the, there is two disk on this pvs server so you guys need to copy the actual hard disk the vhdx and the pvp so these two files you guys need to copy on your secondary pvs server so that the vdisk can be rebalanced so let me copy this ctx pvs svr02 and just press enter here it is the same like pvs store and just paste the files so and just paste here so i have pasted so these two files will copy after that we can rebalance the machines from primary to secondary pvs server so whenever i'm going to pause this video until this finished so now my copy of pdisk has been completed so we have uh, copied the vhdx file and the pvp file so after that let me show you how you guys can rebalance the vdisk so you guys need to click on the for load balancing of the vdisk so click uh, just right click on the vdisk and then uh, load balancing and here you guys can see that use the server to provide the vdisk so now this is only one server selected to provide the vdisk to the vms now we are going to use both the pvs stores to give the vdisk to the vm so you guys need to select use the load balancing algorithm and here you guys need to select best efforts so it will sync the vdisk from primary to secondary and click on ok now we are going to check replication status so you guys must be aware that whenever if your replication status is not correct you you guys will face the issue so it will take some time to replicate from primary to secondary so i'm giving next two or three minutes so that the sync has been completed and you guys can see that after refresh the replication status is fine on both the servers so that's what i want to show you you guys in this video from the pvs perspective in our next video we are going to add these four vms to the uh, citrix delivery controller after that we will publish these servers to the end users and then in the next video we are going to create another vdisk for the 
VMs and uh, on that we are going to install VAM workspace environment manager so for that just stay connected with the CTX cloud please watch my videos like comment and share and also subscribe my channel thank you thank you guys